so we're on the road again. Yeah, kind of like, uh, fuck. A John Denver? I don't think it's John Denver. We took a almost exactly to the date, we took a, a nearly one month absence from shows. Anything. From ba basically <laughs> anything. We, uh, up until the other day, we didn't even like see each other for the greater part of a month because we just had shit going on after uh, Brick by Brick was done and over with. And you know, I got swamped at work. We both ended up getting sick one after the other, and picked up a couple extra days at work. Yeah, he ended up getting more days at work, and we just kind of did our own thing for a while. But uh, I guess this kind of commences phase two of this year for us. Yeah. Because after today, well, starting today is when shit starts getting crazy again. String of events. Yeah. Well, yesterday I went to A1 Four Fest, kind of. Uh, <laughs> I took Scarlet to a show. She had a sweet pair of headphones, and we ended up hanging out. And she, like, we'd watch a couple songs, and go outside and ride fucking scooters and play tag. And man, I'm more tired from doing that than I am fucking pitting all night because I. <laughs> try and pit and then fucking chase her in the 100 degree weather and then try and pit and I was just like this is bullshit when do I get a break? <laughs> she's just like I don't want to stop we get in the car boom and I was yeah. just like I fucking wish so what we got going on here I'm sure we've mentioned the last time but it's been a while oh, yeah today uh, we're going to the uh, Smiling Moose for Sharp Tooth Obey the Brave Born Anew and Downswing let's be real we're going for three of those not four yeah <laughs> as well. Yeah, I don't even know if we're going to stick around for I the entire... I have a history with one of them, so... Yeah, we don't, we don't know if we're going to stick around for the, the majority of the headliner or not, but... Uh, I may give it a song or two just to see how their general performance is now that they're a touring band, to see what all... what all they're doing these days, but, uh... We'll see. I pretty much only care about Obey the Brave and Downswing tonight. Yep. But, More to do, I some dirty shit. Yeah, I was listening to one of their songs last night, and I was like, holy shit. Because uh, I, I was under the assumption that um, that Born Anew was playing first, and then it was just Downswing and Obey the Brave back to back. So when I found out uh, that it was Downswing first, and then Born Anew, and then Obey, I was like, well, shit, there goes my whole thought process, because I thought I was just going to... Gives you a breather. Yeah, I thought I was just going to be going off for an hour and a half straight. <laughs> but... Well, it was so funny last night, though, because, like, I'd go up, like, I'd sit there and, like, load up something on YouTube for Scarlett and watch yeah. it. Like, because, like, so I had earbuds, right? Mm -hmm. And we ran the earbuds down into my phone, and then I had the noise-canceling, like, decibel-canceling headphones, mm -hmm. and I put them over top so she could hear her shows, but it still wasn't overly loud because of the protectors. Yeah. So it was actually, like, a huge cocoon where it was protecting her from the outside noise and she could watch what she wanted. <laughs> so, like, she was watching fucking, you know, like, True and the Rainbow Kingdom on my phone, mm -hmm. and then I would sneak up for 15 seconds at a time. Like, I was standing, like, she was behind the table where, like, they were selling the tickets with mm -hmm. uh, with Brian's girlfriend. Yeah. Because she was the only other girl there, so Scarlett was like, oh, look, another mm -hmm. girl. So they were sitting there, and, like, I would just sit there and just, every couple of seconds, just yeah. peeking back. Like, I was only 10 feet away from her. Yeah. But then, like, one part would come up. I'd look real quick, like, fly across the room three mm -hmm. times, and then go and look back again. So, like, I still feel pretty good for as many bands as I got to see yesterday. Yeah. Wow, hatred, man. They went off for not playing in a year and a half, though. Yeah. That was unreal. If I would have been off yesterday, I would have came and I would have just looked after her, you know, while you were was... doing your thing. But I, I got stuck at work yesterday in the 100 plus degree heat that we had. We, we've been having like the first major heat wave of the year. And holy shit, it's it just, been brutal. It just annoyed me because like originally what was supposed to happen is I was going to take her with me. And then whenever my mom was done with her like dinner stuff, she was going to come up, pick Scarlett up, take them home, and then they could hang out and have a sleepover. Yeah. Which is, my mom lives next fucking door, it's not a problem. But then mm -hmm. she's just like, well, we're going out to eat in a different direction than that. So I don't think I can. And it's just like, cool. Thanks yeah. for that. Even though I asked, then she's like, "You kind of popped this up on me last minute again." And I was like, "Yeah, asking you three weeks ago is so fucking last minute." Yeah. She's 63 years old and acts like she's fucking 14 in the boyfriend. Yeah. I understand she had a shitty relationship for a long time, but god damn it, I hate. Yeah. 
Yeah, me too. How are you gonna do this this list for me? I don't know, whenever fucking people don't fucking shit all over my plans because I do stuff a lot. Okay. Sorry, I socialize and fucking have people that want to go do shit. I do. Let me go fucking tell everybody they're faggots and sit in the corner. I'm disgruntled tonight. I'm probably gonna hurt someone. Yeah. And not in a like, oh, he's gonna mush. So I'm probably gonna hurt someone. <laughs> and I already feel it. Duke uh, fucking sent me a message today, and he's like, yo, let's play some Call of Duty. And I was like, I don't have a headset. He's like, fuck. And then it just disappeared. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I gotta get one anyway. Yeah. I've been playing World War II, and I guess I inspired him because he's been jumping on Tuna. Yeah. So I'd have played with him this morning. He didn't go less yesterday. Yeah. Someone must have come up. TOS came, played, and then I think most of them had to leave. Yeah. Um, it felt like it was like, I don't know, just everybody had something going on. Yeah. Like, there's an okay turnout. But... I don't think tonight's going to have that big of a turnout no, compared, to, compared to Kublai Khan when we, when we were here last time. It's not going to be but, a full room, and if it is, yeah. it's a 100% different crowd. Yeah. Like, there's going to be, like, the four dudes that show up for, like, down swing and obey like us. Yeah. And I think the rest of the crowd is going to be pretty mellow. So, uh... Yeah, Winch Times played a lot better yesterday. Yeah. Sutter so for Nothing played there. They just play Force to Leave EP in full. Every time they play now, that's, like, their new thing. Yeah. They did that at that one that we went to and saw. Yeah. Uh, Val was fucking crazy. Uh, Forgiveness Denied was great. Before I had wings, the room fucking exploded. Yeah, I bet. Oh my god. I guess that was their first official show back, so like, yeah. people were going. Um, 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 violent Approach, they're, always, they're solid. Bravura? Bra what the hell was the name of that one band? Bravura, Bravura? or something? Or Bravura, what, whatever the fuck they're called. We saw them once. I don't think they were there. They were supposed to be. They might have dropped. I don't think they, they were, were. They were supposed to be the second band after yeah, Randy's band. They ended band. up being Wind Chimes. Then Randy's band, then somebody in the TOS, because Force Horn couldn't play either. So TOS, oh, so TOS was, was there too. Yeah, oh, shit. Sick. Fucking Shieldy was doing vocals and playing bass. Yeah. Uh, both, um, I can't remember. They, I can't remember what they called him. They gave him his nickname, and him and Hunter though were both on guitar, and yeah. they were so good. Yeah, it was, yeah it was, Bravura was. Uh, I forget what show that was that we saw them at. Was it the? Uh, it was a it was a wreck show. Yeah, it was. I think it was the uh, after the burial of Acacia Street. They weren't there though. Yeah. Um, who else was there that was good? Oh, uh, Back to Life. Back oh, to yeah. Life was fucking nuts. That's right. They were crazy. Did you see the uh, four chord music festival thing? Uh, the Offspring one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where it's at or what's going on with it, but I. It's in some it. soccer field and. Pittsburgh. Really? Yeah. I didn't realize that it was in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I kind of want to see the Oscar. That's two days before we leave for New York. <laughs> I no longer want to go see the Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing we had never mentioned on video, actually, but since it's confirmed, I guess uh, I can talk about it now. Um, new show added for our itinerary, at least to you guys. We've known about it for a long time now, but... It's just been uh, kind of in the works to yeah, we make just, sure everything was secured. Oh, hey, Archie. Yeah. <laughs> but October 8th through the 10th, Andrew and I are going to New York City for the first time whoop, whoop. to see Despised Icon, Suffocation, Kublai Khan, and Justed and Shadow of Intent. Pretty fucking wild. And Pretty that is shit. like, yeah. <laughs> Despised Icon is probably my biggest bucket list band out of everything I listen to. Other than Aborted, but I got to see Aborted last year. But Aborted and Despised Icon are like my two biggest bucket list bands. And I've been waiting to see Despised Icon since I was like 12 years old. So uh, they're not coming anywhere near this side of Pennsylvania. The closest thing was either Philadelphia or New York. It's faster and easier for us to go to New York. Yeah. <laughs> Plus the, the like, the interchangeable band was more like something you were interested in whenever they were in New York well, too. Yeah, well Suffocation was going to be a both of them. Was it? I thought they yeah. were only in one. No, they were doing uh, three East Coast. There's some interesting ones though that yeah. like rotate in and out of yeah, the show. Yeah, Devourments doing the Texas dates. 
which that would be fucking crazy. Angel Maker is doing a couple. I Declare War is doing a couple. Um, yeah, they're like interchanging co-headliners and stuff. So it's a wild show. But that, yeah, we are confirmed now because I got the hotel booked and the tickets and all that done. Tickets just came in the mail yesterday, by Damn the way. Tickets. And they're actual tickets this time, not printable Ooh, things. So you can paper? you can put them on your little my pin pin board thingy. My and uh but yeah we're at we're at our uh, usual sheets now so we're gonna i gotta pee yeah we're gonna go do a large urination and then we'll be there in like 10 minutes so then we can hang out we're probably gonna stop at the cd store so yeah seems like praying <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I could have cut that from the beginning. I started, I started doing too much. I was like, wait a minute. You're not supposed to slow down. What is this shit? Hi, computer. Just We're fuck, on a tunnel. Just fucking scream out the window. <laughs> hey! Oh shit, that goes real good. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Our fucking blurred again. Oh shit. Two days, was it two days ago? Nice. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Uh, we were hanging out and uh, we literally just drove around in Indiana County messing around because he had some things that he, he needed to do. And I took the camera with me, which we should have filmed because there were so <laughs> many stupid things that we did, but I just didn't pick up the camera all day. But you should go ahead and tell the Wolf of Rome story. Because oh, yeah. if you guys remember, uh, the East Side Expedition videos when we went to Reading. We had that moment in the second video where uh, Andrew just started saying pardon to everything. I was playing Dark Souls and I just kept doing that and I have no idea why. But then I was just trying to replace words. That ended the same, same way. But uh, <laughs> we were fucking around in a comic shop. And I walked around a corner and there was just steps to the, on the ground and I just ran into it and smacked my shins off of it. And it had Wolverine on it. I just kind of looked at it and stared at the floor. And I was like, huh, Wolverine. <laughs> and said, the way I said it and the way I stared at it, apparently it was funny enough that I almost killed you in laughter. Yeah, I, I, my lungs almost collapsed. Holy shit. And <laughs> it was, as I sat there in the comic store, I kept trying to find more and more things that ended the same way, which turned into Green Goblin. And, uh, Prostitution. <laughs> it got fucking weird. And basically the entire Man, day, so everything that you Every, could turn into, I did it. Yeah, so it got a little silly. We we should have uh, we should have filmed that. Just titled it Pardon. That was basically the theme of the entire day. Because like even when we were at home, your mom was talking to us. And I just anytime she said something close, I turned to do it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Wolverine thing, oh my god. <laughs> just the, the way he just like punched it out, because he said it like he was mad, because that thing just like popped out of nowhere. Pissed off and I almost hit my shit on it. And we're in this like quiet comic shop, it felt like a library. Yeah. And I'm trying so hard not to like scream in laughter. <laughs> and oh my god. Yeah, it got a little silly. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pittsburgh, how you doing? Woo! Yeah, you're only 48 minutes away from us, but you know, whatever. <laughs> doing this today, tomorrow I'm doing a whole lot of nothing. I close Tuesday and Wednesday, I open Thursday. I'm doing something. Right, I don't know where it was. Ten days from today is summer slaughter. And then, Slector. and then two days after that is stick to your guns, terror, <laughs> counterparts, <laughs> sanction, and year of the knife. And then eight days fucking after that. Then eight that. days after that. Eternal sleep, fucking yeah. enemy of mine. Oh my god. Yeah, I, don't know. Humane society. I don't know if I'm going to make it to that one or not. Do I mean, I'm thinking about it, but it depends on if I can get off or not. Do it. And then August 11th, I'm going to Steel <laughs> City. You don't have to say if they don't give, give you the day off. Yeah. Resignation. Resignation. <laughs> 
October 30th. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or not because it depends on what else is going on that week show-wise because nothing else really got announced for that week yet is uh, Knock Loose and Mr. Smalls. No. But then November 27th, we're probably going to add this one. Um, As I Lay Dying, After the Burial, and Amir are coming to this newer venue down here. So, look at that. Tom, Tom. <laughs> look at that heckin' architecture. This is my favorite in this church here. Yeah. It's got the overgrown on the side of the, the one side of it. I love this part. Full ass building. Brilliant. Well, we're on our way home now. The light's in a strange spot because we still got traffic behind us yet, but uh lots. Yeah, show was uh pretty peculiar. Yeah, it was different. Opener was cool. Uh Dancing was great. Or it was great. Play the brain was great. Sharp tooth was uh they're fun. They yeah. did a thing. They played sharp, good. Sharp tooth was sharp tooth. Yeah, they're just sharp tooth, that's all. And uh on the way out of here, we got caught in a flash flood and almost died. It was great. So, yeah. <laughs> More great. I actually couldn't see so bad we couldn't turn the fucking camera on because, like, there were points where there's so much water on the road, people would drive through it and it would be up over my fucking hood. Yeah. Was, uh, or not hood, like the roof of the car. So, shit was wild. We actually had to, like, stow away in a sheets for, like, a good half hour before we came back out because it was still raining. We had so, dinned in. Yeah. We did ourselves a large nom. I was a pretzel rod. Yeah. Uh, other things happened, but I don't remember them at the moment. I can't either. <laughs> uh, that was pretty rad for a few bands in a tiny room. Yeah. The strange part about it, in my opinion, was the fact that the more the night went on, after each band, the less people were there. So the room was packed full for Downswing and a little less for Born and New. And then when Obey the Brave came on, half the crowd was gone. And then after they were done, like as soon as Obey the Brave left the stage, 90% of the crowd left the premises and Sharptooth had a crowd of about 12 people. Oh my God! That was the second. That one was bigger. Yeah, that was that was that was the second massive lightning strike we've seen so far. Why there no thunder? I don't know. Like that might be heat. What? Lightning. Fuck the heat. What was that? <laughs> that shits was big. That the sky keeps lighting up like a spider web with lightning. Oh bolts. my god! Like yeah, it's going from like the start of my vision to fucking Kalamazoo. <laughs> shits is <laughs> crazy. Good God. I'd say film the sky, but then you just have like 42 minutes of black. Yeah, but uh, Obey the Brave is uh, definitely one of my favorite hardcore bands to see. They're fun. They're not even like they're, full hardcore. They're like a, a like a hybrid. Yeah, they're kind of like a mixture of fun? hardcore and metalcore. But, yeah, they're like a uh, chanty hardcore stuff. And yeah. It's, oh, that's fun. Alex Arian is still one of the, the coolest uh, vocalists I've ever met. Like, we were chatting it up with him for a good bit a couple of different times actually he, he walked up to me and recognized me and Andrew from the time that we ran into him before down in Catanning at that show I'm in there pissing you guys started talking and I was like what the shit yeah <laughs> but um, I told him that we are going to be going to New York City for that Despised Icon show so he, he said he's going to look for us and we'll hang out so that'd be pretty cool but yeah um this is only the second time we've seen Obey the Brave since we've been doing these vlog things because if you guys remember back, the first travel vlog that we did was Obey the Brave. Was it really? Yeah. That was Kidnick. That was the the, Holy the, shit. the, the seminal Katanning video. Seminal? Semen? Se what? <laughs> you never heard that word before? I have, but normally it's seminal that, that fluids. Means, that means, well, the other meaning of it is like the uh, the first or the original, oh. you know, like the, I just the like starting of, yeah, I can yeah. tell. The maiden voyage, the origin, I got lots of yeah. words. I hear you. Yeah, that was like the origin story of our vlogs. Because before that was when we just started doing like the stupid little try not to laugh videos and stuff like that. It was like funny that. though, she's like, I should take a camera to a show just to see what happens. And then we got 
that day. Yeah, we got, <laughs> we, that's literally what happened because we got done filming those other videos and we had just just started collaborating even though we've known each other and been friends for fucking years. I feel like it was one of those moments where I walked uh, in your house and I said something dumb and you were like, I need to bring a camera. No, well that's what happened because we were doing those videos yeah. and, and we did the one uh, that I titled We Have News or something. So it was the one where you said you were going to start coming on my channel. We were going to be filming shit together. Oh, I'm bad. I didn't do that. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, no, because we were talking about the, the laugh videos and the, the other, like, stupid things we were going to do. Yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. possibility of a podcast. And he was going to do some covers and stuff with me and stuff like that that we still never got to do yet. Yep. But um, then it was, like, a week or so later is when we decided we were going to that Obey the Brave show. And he was like, you should take your camera and record it and record our trip out and back and see how many stupid things we do or or we say and then we got that video out of it and we were like we need to just do this for every show or any time yep. that we're out of the house together and now we're on what 20 20 this is the 21st 20, this 21 is the, or 22 yeah. this is the, like the 21st vlog show wise that we oh no actually most of them are shows we've done a couple where we're just messing around yeah do like stuff. the shopping trips and yeah. shit yeah yeah but this is like the, this is the 21st or 22nd video that we've done in this manner together, and the handful of people that watch these get a large amount of enjoyment out of it. So, I say some of them you got to come through because they're kind of long, but like ones yeah. like this tonight will be short and sweet, you know, yeah. like 20 something minutes. And Probably. Cause yeah, I'm sure we didn't have. Yeah, and Andrew was all <laughs> yawny there for a second. I'm good now. It's not like. Fucking on vacation, where like I'm falling out of fucking chairs and shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we, we <laughs> trying, got a lot of... <laughs> trying to roll over. <laughs> Cut to that clip. <laughs> right? Just <sighs> go for the the last uh, like. Oh, it's, it's not even a year yet that we've been doing videos together. That's it. Yeah. Fuck. We started. That was me. Who the fuck is it? I, I know it can't be me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have service. What are you talking about? But um. Oh. What the hell was I saying? I threw my belt in the back seat like 20 minutes ago. Hey, I just burped and it tasted like fucking cat food smells. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the fake vanilla or the pure sugar that's in that shit. <laughs> I'm confused to why that tastes funny. I, now I completely forgot what I was saying. Reminded me of a Diet Coke that sat in the yeah. sun. <laughs> but yeah, over the last... Oh, I remember what it was. It's been... Holy shit! <laughs> I need to just start bringing a second camera so we can catch just, these Just me storms. holding it forward just the entire time. Yeah. Ah! It's not even been a year since we started doing these videos. And look, look at the content we've got already. A lot. Like Most of it's nonsense. It's yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the point. I mean, oh, yeah, it's... We knew that's what it was at the fucking start. <laughs> yeah, we knew none of this was actually going to really go anywhere viral-wise. Oh, shit. No. But just for our own entertainment and to document our own trips and oh. to show it to the couple people that actually want to see it, like, it's it's worth doing, you know, these these vlogs oh, and stuff yeah. for because it's just fun to watch back. We go back and then I realize I said something ridiculous that I didn't know I said. So it's just like, <laughs> okay, me. Yeah. I'm on to you. Yeah, we were just talking a little bit ago when we were still in sheets that one of these days I'm going to put together like a compilation mashup video thing of just all of our stupid moments so far. I, I would and laugh at that. Yeah. It'd probably end up being over an hour long at this point because we've got 20 some videos to go through. This is a compilation though, like I'm just dumb shit around. Yeah. I guarantee you someone would want to watch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 What the fuck was that noise? It burped again. <laughs> As I was going to say, Jim, look out. And it just came out. Jim, look. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Anyway. I can't breathe. Jim, oh, look. Jim, look. <laughs> oh, man. What the shit. Oh, my ugly laughter on camera yet again. <laughs> Batch ass. <laughs> I, I thought that was a, a noise of surprise. But it was, I really wish I could have read that sign because I'm confused to what I just thought I saw. <laughs> what? 
I thought it said appendix. <laughs> well, that's, that's almost as bad as when we were in Reading and uh, we, we were driving around and we found that place that said rent to kill. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that place. Good old rent to kill. Yep. Got nothing better to do on a Friday. What is it, Sunday, huh? Today's hey, Sunday, what yeah. A weird day for a show. But yeah, I don't think we've done a Sunday one in a long time. Not that I can think but, of. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of Mondays and Wednesdays. And Thursdays. Well, not that many Fridays, honestly, which yeah. is weird. Because you would think like, oh, weekend, ah, but then like, okay, we've done this once where it's like a Monday night. We've had like more fucking energy. The, like the fans have been like, what the fuck is going on? It's a Monday night in Pittsburgh. Why are you all fucking psychopaths? Yeah. It's great. Tonight was the adventures of fucking Four dudes moshing and everyone else stepping backwards and stuff. Yeah, one of the funniest parts of the, of the whole night. And we were talking about this earlier. Oh my god! That's what six in a row. Now? That looked like a tree root. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the funniest uh, stories of the night. My nose will stop fucking itching. You need to pull that hand off and yeah. it's your nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the funniest stories of the night was when uh, Obey the Brave started. I mean, we we noticed that like half the crowd was gone already to begin with. But everybody took like, because Alex came out on stage, he said everybody take two steps forward. And everybody pushed forward from the back, like the 50 people that were in the room at the time. And then they opened with Raise Your Voice, which has this really like stompy fucking beatdown riff in the beginning. And me and Andrew literally just start beating the piss out of each other, and the whole room moved about 15 feet backwards. And the more that we moved during their set, because we just went off for, for Obey the Brave, because that's like the reason we were here. Uh, the more that we moved and the more that the songs progressed, the that part of the room just kept stepping further and further away from us. Because we, well then at one point too, we got that other bigger guy, he started yeah. moving with us. And we're like, yeah! Mm -hmm. But like, <laughs> whenever uh, we got about halfway through, I actually had to run to the bathroom because uh, my stomach randomly hurt really bad. So like, I went to the bathroom for like two songs, which sucked because one of them was a new one and one was Live and Learn. I fucking love it. But I was like, eh, just give me a minute and I'll feel okay. We get back. And as soon as I walked back up, he's like, we got a song for all the hockey fans. And I don't give a shit about hockey, but as soon as he did that, I just walked up the fucking steps. Yeah. And it was just like, uh-huh. He just kind of started me like, he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I figured you might come up here. Yeah. And then uh, we both yelled the, the main line of the song, and then just, you were already tearing backwards, and then I fucking jumped down the stairs and started tearing back. Yeah. The dude beside us is like, well, now I feel like I need to join you too. Mm -hmm. But it was it was weird. Like I don't know. There was a, it was an odd crowd. There was a very very odd crowd. It was you could tell that it was mainly Sharp Tooth fans. Well, it was yeah. mainly Sharp Tooth fans that stuck around. Like anyone like that was there for Downswing and Born a New, they did not give a shit about the rest of the tour lineup. Yeah, they were out. I literally think out of everyone in that room, though, there was two people singing Obey the Brave songs. Yeah, one of them was me. <laughs> one of them was me. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. It was very weird. I felt like that band just had more exposure, but... Yeah, Obey the Brave's got more of, like, an international following than the States, because they're from Canada. Be with Which is weird, because they're right above us. Yeah, but you would, well, they play a lot more overseas than they do in the States, too, but... You would think with Alex Arian being one of the two vocalists from Despised Icon that they would have a bigger following in the States, but, you know, it is what it is. And even he said the same thing. I asked him, we were bullshitting. And I said, why do you think it is to, that nobody around here, at least in these areas when you come out, like the only people that end up moving in the pit is me and Andrew. <laughs> and he said, I don't know, man, it is what it is, but we just don't have that much of a following out here. And he even said on stage, he said, I can tell most of the crowd doesn't know who we are. And that's okay, but you're about to find out. You know. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Because <laughs> they were like halfway through the set. And it was literally me and Andrew and one other person moving around. 
<clears throat> and um, even after we're talking, he's just like, because I, I love it when you guys are here because you guys have that energy for me. Yeah. It's like, yeah, man, we got you. No, Pepsi Lid, don't go to the abyss of my penis. Don't. Oh, that sign is green. <laughs> That's going to be a Zoom clip later. I, <laughs> I can't help but be silly. With, it's not my fault with, the fucking camera with, on. With subtitles and everything. That's the thing, though, camera. Like, you think I say this shit because we're on camera? No. This is what I normally do. This is why I. Home. This is why we thought to bring the camera to, to Nothing the Nothing on here is me being like. Sure, there's sometimes where I get a little extra silly, but like this is legitimately what I do to and from shows. Yeah, like <laughs> if you could have been with us for all the other ones that that we didn't record over the last few years that we've been going to shows together. Nothing. Holy changed. fuck! Like some of the some of the moments that we had that we talk about on here that were never documented on film were like. Stupid yeah. stuff. <laughs> Fucking. So. <laughs> that, that chiropractor's office, I just saw the sign back there, it was called Hoff. Yeah. But I didn't say it Hoff, I read it because it's H O F F, and I just read it as Hoff. My eyes are heavy, it's green already. I can wrap mom's spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Christ. Hey, is that that Walmart we were in before? The tiniest Walmart? Yes. Yeah. Tiniest Walmart and you. What's behind me? Okay, let's race. <laughs> Stop it. I don't but yeah, starting today, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, this is where shit's going to start getting crazy again. Um, tonight basically kicked off the... Uh, like I said before, phase two of, of our year for shows because we took that month long break and uh, now we're going to like thing after thing again. So, thing after thing after thing after thing. Ten days from tonight is Summer Slaughter. That means we're going to watch. Uh, new Lord of Shore because CJ posted a teaser for a song that seems like it's pretty wild. And card effects, and otherwise, I don't care. Yeah. Cow Chop might be alright. Cow Chop. Cow Chop. <laughs> Did they call him something like that last time? Yeah. I forget what it was. It was something similar. Yeah. Yeah, that one's, that one's gonna be nuts for me because there's a lot that, I, that I've never seen on there before. Or a couple of them I have seen, but uh, Cattle Decapitation, which is their crazy live like it might not be like your style but like just, just just to like watch them performing it's ridiculous and uh the sounds that travis ryan can make vocally is ridiculous uh they're one of those bands that sound better live than they do in studio yeah, they're and pretty uh CD. card effects and the faceless if the faceless actually shows up because the last time they were on summer slaughter they no showed on the date that i went to um Rivers of Nile and Necrogoblicon. Fuck, Fuck that noise. Yeah. Uh, Lorna, Lorna Shore, Brand of Sacrifice, and who the fuck was the other man? Yeah, like, I feel there, like there's another one. There, I think there is one more, but. And they're supposed to have like locals and shit too, so. I think Victims of Contagion is the opener for that one, which uh, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't seen them in years. They've posted about it. So. They, they're fucking great. Like they were. I haven't seen them in a long time. They were really good. And then two days after Summer Slaughter is uh, Stick to Your Guns, Counterparts, Terror, Sanction, and Year of the Knife. That show is fucking nuts. Yeah. It's weird though because it's great band, great band, great band, don't care. <laughs> yeah. Just Year of the Knife, Sanction, Terror, we're done here. Stick to Your Guns is fucking fine, like, but like, he's gonna be all singy this time because he's not gonna be sick. Yeah, last Not time we saw good. them, the last time we saw them, the vocalist was sick. So he, they literally played like two singing songs that had cleans in it when they were supposed to play. Like, their entire set was like new stuff, and they played all old school shit from like the first three records that had no cleans in it, and it was dirty. Yeah. Like some of the songs they played were nuts. And uh, counterparts, I don't know a whole lot about them. I know a couple people that like worship I've them. Seen them. And they're supposed to be like legendary in the hardcore scene, so I'll have to see what's up with that. 
It's been quite a while, but I have seen them. They were on that, that first warp tour that we did together in 2017. But I, I guess stopped down for a song if I remember correctly. I saw them in Johnstown a lot. Yeah. Because they, they played with the Gather yeah. here and there, so. <laughs> so, uh, it's actually getting darker up here and the light's fucking with me a little bit because it's starting to rain more. So, I think we're going to have to say goodbye. Yeah, I think we'll call it for the night. Uh, we're both pretty beat. So. We'll see us in fucking five days anyway. Yeah. I know it's ten, but I wanted to say five. Yeah. By the time the video goes up, it'll probably be five. <laughs> um, That's just upload time. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys enjoy these stupid videos that we do together, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, subscribe to the playlist that we have specifically for videos of this kind on my channel. And uh, keep yourself updated for any new stuff that we do put out. Uh, like the Facebook page we don't use until we put up a video because that's what I'm gonna keep saying until we do start using it. I actually and, uh, had a really good idea for that, but I fucking forgot. Yeah. Oh, well. But yeah, thank you guys for the support if it kept your attention for this long and we will see you guys for Summer Slaughter in probably the next video because I don't know if we're going to be doing anything else <laughs> before that. <laughs> Lightning strike number seven. That's a hydro airplane! Yeah.